Hello, dear friends, and today we continue to learn about the diary of a Red Army soldier. He was in the defense of the besieged Leningrad, with hunger as the worst enemy. Learning this diary, we will see if we could figure out all the horror that was happening in that city and the entire tragedy of the Soviet people on the whole. These notes may seem to be the diary of a simple man doing the simple things, but it is not so. Now, let us begin. June 1st, 1942. I was on duty, things went well, and I was on guard duty all the days. June 4th. I got a letter from my mother saying she wanted my advice about leaving Kronstadt. It made me so excited that the whole night was sleepless and it was my 14th wedding anniversary. I celebrated this anniversary good. I got some vodka and salt fish and I ate a nice and hearty meal. June 5th. I had no worries during all the days. I had a good rest after the guard. June 9th. A team of 21 men arrived to work in the main port. I was appointed as a cook and was cooking dinner. June 10th. I had to endure a lot of bad luck about the food. The people found the lunch too watery, and I was punished by the platoon commander for not having enough salt. June 11th. The men left. Then, in the morning, they brought us some bread, and I decided to buy chromed boots with it. I paid three kilos of bread and 500 rubles. I paid too much, but I was sorry for the woman because she had five little children and her husband was already killed in the war. June 12th. I visited a hairdresser's to have my face shaved, and I sent a letter to my wife in the Kalinin region. June 13th. A new petty officer was replaced, and there is no telling whether my circumstances will be better or worse. Night of the 14th I was on guard duty. June 19th. I bought a suit for 1,500 rubles at 102 Karl Liebknecht Street, apartment 39, Brunanov. All the days are going on as usual until the 19th, working a lot on room cleaning. June 20th. I put some food in oven to cook dinner. I got busy as a cook. June 21st. I was also cleaning the kitchen this day, because I announced myself as a cook, but I believe I will get things right. The work will go on. June 22nd. Getting ready for the new team, and I will cook dinners for 20 persons. June 23rd. I got a letter from my wife and mother, and my wife says she has received the money I sent her completely, but my mother is upset that she has not had any news from my brother Vanya. There is some assumption that he was killed in the battle near Kopino. I sent another 1,000 rubles to my wife. There was an artillery attack on the city. Several houses were destroyed. There were people killed, and at night, on the 24th, a repair shop team arrived here. June 24th. I was assigned as a cook, so I am beginning to learn a new qualification, unknown to me. June 25th and 26th. The days passed in the kitchen work. It was hard to handle the unknown job at first. It is very hot, and pain in the head. June 27th. I got a letter from my wife, thanking me for the money, and she is living well for the time being. June 29th. I sent letters to my wife and mother. June 30th. I got a letter from my mother delivered to me by a petty officer. July 1st, 1942. Day went well at cooking lunch and dinner for the team. July 2nd. I also cooked meals for the team. I have to get up very early. There is a lot of work. Meals for 20 men. I had to cook three times a day and I had to do it all alone. I get very tired and my head hurt a lot. July 3rd. They berated me for cooking watery soup. I did my best, and being on my feet all day in the heat, my feet and hands swelled up and my head hurt a lot. I suppose I shall soon lose my mind, and damn this job, and generally I am living the life of a man who is humbled and disgraced in all possible ways. July 4th. I wanted to write a letter to the commissar in the battalion in which my brother Vanya was serving, but I just had no time, and Vanya was probably already dead. How disappointing that it was the last brother I lost. Going to bed, without enjoying the sun or the nice weather. A man without rank is cursed. July 5th. All the time working in the kitchen, cooking for the team. 
July 6th. Also cooking lunch, but it is very difficult to cook when there is a lack of food. July 7th. I went to the bath, had a good wash, and I got a letter from my brother, Ivan Ivanovich. He is wounded a second time. He is in Herzen Street. July 8th. I was going to cook some millet porridge casserole, and I had no skill to do it. I had to make porridge back, and I am happy that I have not spoiled the groats and flour, or there would have been a total scandal. It is difficult to cook when you cannot do anything. I sent two letters to my brother Vanya. I wonder if they will reach him. July 9th. My day was not going so well. There are all kinds of scandals about lunches. The portions seem to be too small for them. But where can I get more food if there is nothing? July 10th. I sent money to my wife, 2,000 rubles. I got a letter from Kronstadt. It says that my mother left for the village of Ostashkov. I was so upset by this letter that I decided I would not write another letter to my sister or brother Sasha. I have no idea how tomorrow will end, and this day is a total disaster for me. Everyone thinks I am rich, and I now owe it to everyone for help. July 14th. I was informed of my dismissal from the cook's post. July 15th. The day passed in waiting for the new cook. July 16th. I left the kitchen and went to Priutino, about 30 kilometers from Leningrad, and from this day on I was assigned as a mailman to deliver letters. July 17th. I had already checked out the new place I had relocated to. It is good to be everywhere in summer. I met my brother Vanya. He was walking to convalescent battalion. July 18th. First time going to post office. July 19th. I also visited the post office and was given 100 grams of vodka to celebrate a sports day. July 20th. That day I went to the post office too. July 22nd. I tried to visit my brother Vanya, but they refused to let me see him. July 23rd. I received a letter from my comrade Ivan Strepkov from Novaya Ladoga. July 24th. I met my brother Vanya by accident on the first line of Veliki Ostrov. He was heading back to the front. This was the third time. July 25th. The day was usual, with no adventures. I went to the post office. July 26th. Today is the USSR Navy Day. The holiday was good. I ate a big meal for dinner. July 27th. I went to Leningrad to the post office and received a letter from my wife saying she has received the money I sent fully. July 28th. Petty officer and my company took away my warm shirt, saying it is not allowed to an ordinary soldier. July 29th. I was in the city at the post office. I was moved to Leningrad to repair the water lines. Anyway, the month of July passed well. I wonder how the August goes but the state of my health is getting worse and worse, with headaches becoming stronger and more frequent. August 1st, 1942 I arrived back to Leningrad, to my old job. I gave 2,000 rubles to my comrade Brodsky to get a watch. My thoughts are that he would cheat me, and I would not get the money or the watch back. August 2nd I had to give 5 kilos of groats for a new suit. August 3rd I started to work and repaired a broken plumbing. August 4th. Had nothing to do today but to go to the baths because of boredom and getting sick of lice. August 5th. Nothing to do today, too, and the boredom is terrible. August 6th and 7th. I had these days as usual, with no changes. August 8th. I had a little unpleasantness a debt of 1,000 rubles in money I did not receive. August 9th. A headache so bad that I did not know how to react and I was not allowed to visit a doctor. August 10th. Spending my days doing nothing. I am reading books and studying Russian history. August 11th. Thinking about where I will be in the future. Right now, I am without work and not determined to do anything. Though I have never had much luck in my service, I have never managed to get any rank or post, but it is a bit disappointing that they do not want to consider me as a person. August 14th. 
I got a letter from my brother Vanya. It was dated August 7th, so it means he is still alive. August 16th. I sent my letter to my brother Vanya and sent a letter with a picture to my wife, so now I am expecting an answer. August 18th. Nothing has changed on this day. August 20th. I visited a polyclinic and met Tanya Smirnova on Nahimson Street. She said she was living good and had not seen hunger so far. August 22nd. I drove the garbage to the junkyard on Ostrov and enjoyed the view of the Petarov from afar, and all the old times were brought back to me with a bit of sadness. How long ago was their freedom, but now the death and devastation of the working class people. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and support the channel with a subscription. Goodbye to everyone, and see you all again.